Next, we'll have David Dim from Happy Marketer. He'll be talking to us about analytics, and he'll go through the interface and the basics of the matrix of us. Um, David, please. for in, uh, inviting me down to this event. Uh, I'm not from Google, but uh, how many of you enjoy the food just now? Can I raise your hands? And because of that, how many of you love Google a lot right now? <laughs> <laughs> I love Google a lot too. They, they give free food, and oh, in some previous events, they give away beer as well. Um, I'm not from Google, but I work very closely with Google um, with uh, using their analytics software. We are one of the three Singapore certified analytics partners and how we help businesses find out their website performance um, on their websites from Singapore, KL, in, in the region. We also help them um, with AdWords, um, social media marketing and SEO. Uh, so I'm here today just to share with you a really, really cool tool called Google Analytics. Uh, how many of you here are users of Google Analytics? You've tried to it around a bit. Okay, a few. How many of you here are hearing about this for the first time? Okay, so a few. And some of you probably know about it. It's a really exciting tool, um, but for me, I am coming from a business perspective. So uh, my happy marketer is uh, does marketing. We also do implementation of um, projects. Um, I'm coming from, the, I'm going to show you the business applications because we all have bosses. How many of you here uh, have a boss? Raise your hand. Okay, good. Uh, how many of you here are the boss? Raise your hand. Okay, and then how many of you have no boss? Unemployed. Okay. <laughs> some of, yeah, because I read some of your students. Um, regardless if you have bosses or no bosses, Google Analytics can help give you real-time numbers on the performance of your website um, and the different sources um, it comes from. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that. Um, some of our clients are Starhub, um, JobDB, AirAsia. These are people with massive amounts of people who come to the website. And making sense of that data is very critical for them to understand what marketing strategies are working or um, what content is being consumed so they understand how to better cater to their customers. I have a friend, uh, when he went to NUS, uh, he was a computer science major. And you know in computer science, there's not a lot of uh, pretty girls in computer <laughs> science. <laughs> Maybe just like in this thing, a lot of us are geeks. Um, so what they like to do, what he liked to do, is he liked to sneak over to the arts faculty at NUS. And over there, there's a a lot more pretty girls for them. And sometimes they like to look inside of the lecture theater. And uh, on one of those days, uh, my friend, he was listening to the philosophy lecture. And philosophy is a very, very deep stuff. And the lecture was talking about this quote. If a tree falls in a forest and there's no one to hear it, does it make a sound? I said, wow, very cheap, very deep. Um, it's the same like for your website. If someone goes to your website and does something and you don't know how to track it, did it actually happen? So what we have here today is um, Google Analytics helps track those things. And I only have about 20 minutes to go through this, so please bear with me. I'm going to go through it very fast. But what I want to show you is how Google Analytics works, and we're going to have a, a demo of one of my client's accounts so you can play around with it and all the different features that it has. It's very exciting. Okay, so the need for analytics comes from there's a lot of activities that goes on on your website. One of our clients, StarHub, has 7 million visitors a month, which is amazing. And they view about 5 to 6 pages per person. So that's 35 million page views. And if you were StarHub, you had no idea what was going on. That's a big waste of uh, business intelligence that you would be missing out on how your users are are using your site. So it's an effort that's wasted. 
So there's a very, very famous quote by Peter Drucker. If you can't me measure it, you can't manage it. How do you know how your website is performing um, if you can't measure it? So that's the whole point of Google Analytics. And this is what Google Analytics is. It's a free, completely free, hosted software online that helps you find out more about your websites and helps you create it a more effective website and increase the return on investments for your marketing campaigns. So a lot of cool information. It provides very answers to difficult questions. You know, back in the day, uh, you, we had this thing called the hit counter. On the bottom left hand of your screen, I think five, ten years ago, and they would say like 40,000 people have gone to your website, and then you refresh the page, and then again it's like 40,001 people. So that, that was the dinosaur age of analytics, and everyone could see it. Um, and you only get to see one thing, and it's how many people. But Google Analytics does so much more things like, uh, how are my visitors using my site? Which places are they going to? Uh, how can I make more effective marketing campaigns? Like, I'm sure some of you, you want to promote your own business, or even think of starting your own business. And because we are uh, in the digital age, the, our, the website is the, one of the most cost-effective ways to start and market your business. So you. It's a very critical part of um, your presence, and you want to know exactly what people are doing. So it answers all the questions like, is the content I'm creating effective? Do people like it, or are they just leaving my site? Uh, where, why are they abandoning it, and where? And how can I improve? So a, a lot about what I'm going to talk about today is how to understand the reports and put it into business actions. If you have any technical questions, you can ask Vinny, because he's the god of all these questions and technical stuff. So I'll leave it to you. But any business stuff, business applications, yeah, I can answer those questions. Uh, how it works. Um, so you have, when you go to a website, you um, Google Analytics starts tracking. So on every page of your website, there is a code that is installed uh, on near the bottom of your HTML. I won't get into too much detail, but this code tracks every time a visitor comes to your website and takes that information and puts that on Google's uh, secure servers so no one else can see it but the administrator of that account. And it collates all that data and makes it into a very, very nice, easy to read report, which you can make sense of and make business decisions from there. And I'll be showing the report in a couple of minutes. Okay, so let's go through the Google Analytics metrics. So there are a couple of different terms. Now let's just imagine, because sometimes these terms are very vague, and let's put it into something that we can all relate to. Um, how many of you here really, oh, we're in Singapore, so how many of you here like to eat? Okay, most of us, some of us, I don't know why we don't like to eat. <laughs> um, and Singaporeans love to go to hawker centers. So can someone name me a very, your favorite hawker center? Can someone give me, what's your favorite hawker center? Just name anyone. Too many. So what's the one that comes straight to your mind? Anyone? How about one that's nearby here? Sorry? Homer Street. Homer Street? Homer Street. Street, okay. So imagine you are the manager of a Moy Street Hawker Center. There's a lot of people going in and out of your Hawker Center, they're visiting different stalls, um, and you want to know what is the behavior, what are the statistics, you want to know if your, uh, your Hawker Center is profitable or not. Right now, how, would, how would he know that um, it's profitable or this is very popular? You just you know, go around and count how many people are there, or you want to know what stall is very, is very popular, you'd see the, the queue is very long, right? So that's, that's just the, the very basic way. But he doesn't know the exact number of all these things. And just imagine a website is just like that. There are a lot of people coming to your website, you don't know what they're gonna see. So we're gonna break down those different forms of data into metrics. So the first one is this. Okay, a visitor. A visitor is, a uniquely identified visitor, so someone who just visited your website. Looks like this. So each person 
has a unique ID, and when they go to it, um, Google counts it as one person. So that person go looks around the website, goes to different pages, and and does whatever. So we call that a visitor. Is that clear? Very simple, right? A visit. So a visit. Sometimes a visitor can go to your website multiple times, and each time it goes to your website, we call that a visit. And when you close your browser or stay inactive for about 30 minutes, that closes the visit. A page view is every time a page is viewed on your website. So if I go to your website, I see one, two, three pages, that's called three page views. It's pretty simple, all right? So this is how pages look, uh, visitors are just like each one of us, say so maybe there are like 40 people in this room. Um, sometimes we'll go to Amoy Street multiple times. So say I go to Amoy Street three times and everyone else goes three times as well. So 40 times three, that's 120. So 120 visits. And I, I just like to play with analogies, but imagine a page is like a hawker center stall. So there are so many different stalls on Amoy Street. There's a Kuei Tiao store, and there's the fish ball store. So each of those things, each of those stalls, imagine they're, they're like pages. So one person goes look at this stall, move on to the next one, and to the next one. So the more pages people view, the more they find that the things on the pages are relevant. Okay, another metric that is very important is new versus returning visitors. How do you know if your site is reaching out to new people, attracting more attention, possibly new leads? And what about returning visitors? Are, if you have a blog, are they coming back again? Are you able to retain people um, who see the value in your website? So both metrics are very important. How many people are you reaching out? And how many people are you retaining and who see value in your website? Any questions so far? I'm going pretty fast because I know some of you want to see how it works and how all the cool reports go into play. Is that okay? Cool? Let's just move on. The bounce rate is very important. The bounce rate is not when you bounce up and down, but when people find your site, but they don't find what they're looking for and they leave. So the bounce rate is a percentage of people who leave after one page room. Page view. So what this means, if you have a high, if, okay, for example, on this example, 32.99 people leave your website. Is that a good thing or is that a bad thing? Who says it's a good thing? Okay, who says it's a bad thing? Okay, how many people have no idea? <laughs> okay, uh, it, it depends on how hard you are on yourself. <laughs> what is <laughs> maybe oh I have thirty two percent of one this is terrible. But if if you have sixteen million page views and thirty two percent people leave, there's still a lot of people there. Um, but in our experience if you have around fifty to sixty percent bounces, that means there's something wrong with your website. So in this case the majority of people, so two out of three people, stay on the site and they look around for the content. So that means what this website is doing is they're doing something right. So in my opinion, this is okay. Page views. Time on site is another indication on how relevant your site is and how much content is relevant. Um, this starts exactly when you start on the page and flip to different pages. So you start on the home page. This is the Google Store example. Uh, you go on page one, you click somewhere else, and then you go somewhere else, and then you leave. So the amount of time that you're on, say, google.com and the store, then that is the amount of time you're on the website. Now, who here can tell me what, why is this very useful to find out how long they're on the site? Can someone give me a guess? <coughs> Excuse me? How interesting and informative is Yes, how interesting um, it is. Um, and if they're finding a lot of information on it. 
Um, what we found was very interesting. Uh, we're doing an analytics project for a luxury hotel company. And uh, on analytics, you can compare the different time that people are from different browsers and on, of course from mobile. So what we found was um, the lowest time on site were from just regular computers, like uh, starting from PC and Mac, they were low about one or two minutes. And then we looked at the mobile application, um, like iPhone and Android, and they weren't like three times as long as the <coughs> computer users. So from this data, what do you understand about mobile users? Mobile is slower, yeah, that's one thing. <laughs> Anything else? What, what can you understand about this? It takes longer to load, yeah. Well, luckily, the, the uh, mobile users actually stay longer and they browse through. I guess they're more patient. Um, but what, what the client, what this company could do is try to figure out how to lower that time because um, when you find out people are spending an absurd amount of time on your site, maybe just loading, um, you would want to optimize the pages, make it smaller in uh, size, so it's easier to load up. Or perhaps if your web traffic is high enough, then you would want to consider building a mobile site um, so it's more user friendly. So all these different metrics, you can compare them one to the other and figure out what, how people are, are reacting. So I think you can really spend hours and hours just analyzing, comparing different metrics. And let's, let's do a little bit of that and just dive into the reports. And there are different kind of reports. Okay, there are different kind of traffic reports. Um, why don't I just show you an example, okay? Can everyone see this? I will make it bigger if I can. Zoom in. Is this okay? Please nod your heads. Okay. Okay, so when you op when you open up a web um, Google Analytics, uh, you, the first thing that you see is a dashboard. The dashboard is an overview of your uh, your website performance. And one of the cool things is, um, so you see over here, from May 5th to June 4th, which is today, um, these are the metrics. And by the way, this is a company from the US, they're called OCR Terminal. And what they do is they make um, OCR, so OCR is converting PDF to text. So what, what they do is you upload your files, your PDFs to their website, and they convert it to text. And so the goal of their website is to get people to, to sign up for their service. Um, and so this is their Google Analytics performance. So what I've done is from May 5th to June 4th, which is a month ago, um, Google Analytics has a very easy to read report um, to, to show you exactly how the traffic is. So this is a measure of traffic. So this is 1,500. And it's really cool. If you just mouse over it, uh, you can show you how many people showed up to your website on that given day. And what I've done here is I've taken it a step further and I've compared it over here. I'm comparing it to one year from the past. So if you want to find out if your business is improving in terms of whatever marketing effort or you're getting more exposure, you want to see if anything is getting better, it's very simple to compare two time metrics. Not only just one year, you can, you can specify one month, or you can do a week, or you can do even a day. So if you have different campaigns, uh, you can really micromanage and really look into it in detail to see how things are performing, fluctuating over time. And you can always just do it by itself without comparing. Um, so the blue over here is the current from May 5th to June 4th, and the green is comparing one year in the past. Um, so um, previously I mentioned that there are 28,000 visitors. So visits is how many people have come to your website. 28,000, and last year was 32,000, so the performance has gone slightly down. Uh, this website has a 34% bounce rate, so that's pretty good. Average time on site is six minutes. I'd say that's pretty good. And 
pages per visit. So how, if each visitor, how many pages did they view? 4.87. In my opinion, I think that's pretty good. Um, that shows that people are finding a lot of relevant content on your website. A lot of time I see one or two percent, uh, two pages, and that means people are not finding what they want. And so you have to find out how to make the pages uh, more relevant and easy to access. 67% uh, are new visitors, uh, compared to 74, so the metric has gone down slightly. Another cool feature is the map overlay. Before, in the past, you didn't know how many, where people are coming from. So this is a really cool feature. Um, you can find out where they're coming from and if you are hitting your target market. So we see for this example here, most of the people are coming from US. So last month, 4,590 people out of, I think it was like 7,000, came from the US. And it's a US company, so it's understandable. What's very interesting here is 4,700 people came from Brazil. So if you have no idea why that happened, then you need to dig in a bit further. Um, and 3,000 people came from India. It shows. So it's very simple to use. You just mouse over your, your cursor to different um, countries and it tells you where you're coming from. If you want a breakdown of all those things, it makes it very easy. So Brazil brought in 4,799, so that's that country brings in the most amount of visitors. It can show you exactly what those visitors are doing, how many pages do they do, average time on site, the visits or not. People are very hot in here. I feel very hot. <laughs> <laughs> can we get some air con or something? Or oh, maybe there's no maybe there's no central air con. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm like really sweating up here. Uh, some other countries like India is very popular. France as well. UK, Romania. So that one is visitors. Of course, you can go for. Uh, an overview of that, how many people have visited your site, how many absolutely new visitors there are, how many page views, time on site, and the bounce rate. Another very important thing, especially if you are, if you want to find out where people are coming from, is traffic sources. So let's just look at here. So in the middle we have, um, Google Analytics will divide your traffic source into three main categories search engine traffic, direct traffic, and referral traffic. So for OCR, they have a pretty good mix of both, of all three. So their search engine's about 35%, which is, I think it's pretty good, because many small, many websites, they get mostly direct traffic because they've not optimized their website. Um, direct traffic is 34%, not bad. Um, and you can see how it's changed over time. Um, if you notice here that there is more direct traffic coming from last year, that means the branding is be getting better. Their search engine traffic has increased by 63% uh, from 21%, which means they must be doing an SEO, some SEO project search engine optimization. So this is a clear indication that what they're doing is working. And the last thing is referral sites. So these, this means that any website which has a link to ocrterminal.com, it will show, Google Analytics will show you that they have referred traffic to, to this website. And if you want to know what sites are referring, it just shows it down here. So um, the number one source is direct traffic. So this is the amount of people who have typed in the URL in Google Analytics. So that's around 9,600, so 34%. It shows Google Analytic natural search traffic, so Google Analytic organic, uh, which is, it shows there, and it compares it to previously. Um, very interesting, um, a lot of the referrals come from a Brazilian webs, uh, referral website um, called bysaki.com.br. So that's referring quite a lot of people. So they must be having, uh, it, it must be very successful, this marketing effort. Um, there's other referrals here. 
um, so you can see which websites are helping them. Um, for those of you who are doing search engine optimization, um, this is where when people type in um, keywords, your website, it's the art of getting your website to rank higher on Google search engines. So what people are typing to find out this website is the brand, OCR terminal, OCR, OCR terminal, OCR online. So you can find out which keywords are relevant to people. And for example, if you are doing an AdWords campaign, you can use this data to have ads out there. And because that your natural search traffic is very relevant, if you want to have ads, your ads will perform quite well because of the relevancy to the keyword and the ad. So this is some good insight. If you want some more information, there's always a, a full report as well. The next very important kind of report is the content report. When people are going to your website, what are they doing? What are they looking at? So this shows what people are looking at. Oh, by the way, um, you notice that the traffic numbers are going up and down, up and down. Why do you think that is? Can someone give me a guess? Weekends, that's correct. Sorry, not from the I can give you a, a sticker. <laughs> you have a sticker. I'm, I don't know if I'm allowed to do that. But... So weekends, it's very interesting because the traffic numbers go up and down with time. So if you want to optimize your ads for, for high traffic times, um, you can do that as well. Page views, the amount of page views is 138,000. That's a lot of page views. And here it shows how many people are going to the website. The first one is obviously the index, so the home page. Uh, they have a dashboard, so I believe this is when people sign in, they have a dashboard to upload their files. Um, creating, um, another one is creating a user account, and that uh, helps people know how many people you signed up. And submitting, so this just shows how many people have submitted uh, a new, as a new user. Okay. So if, if you want to go through all the pages that they viewed, you can go look at the full report. For example, if you are doing a marketing campaign and you, want, if you really want to drive people to certain pages on your website, but when you look at Google Analytics, it tracks all of the pages that people have viewed. And if you find that your page is not showing up, to, on your list are very high, then there's something that you need to do. Um, and it's also something that you can tell your boss and say, hey, you know, people aren't going to our promotion page or they're not going to our products page. So we need to change that as well. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is goals. So the purpose of a website, there is always something. We don't just make websites just to make it look pretty and nice. When you want people to go to your website, there must be a goal, an actionable goal. So what are some examples of goals on websites? Can someone give me an example? Sign up. Sign up page. OK, good. Uh, check out. Check out what? OK, good. So purchase a product. Anything else? It doesn't have to be so drastic as check out and buy something. Maybe it is um, viewing certain kind of information. Maybe you, you don't actually sell anything on the website, but you want people to view your contact information. So you can also define a goal as someone views my contact information. So goals can be defined however. So for, for this website, the goal is for users to sign up. And so last month they had 5,484 users that signed up. So that's pretty good. And it shows you what the conversions are like. So you understand that throughout the week it goes up and down depending on the web traffic. And this is the conversion rate. So depending on how many people go to your website, 19% of people convert. So that's the effectiveness of your website. Um, if you want to find out how people are um, going through your sales funnel. So for example, if you want to find out how effective it is, there's a very cool function called funnel visualization. And this shows where people are going to your goal. So um, this user, uh, OCR Terminal, has said that homepage is the beginning 
um, sign up page is the next step in the process, and users will sign up is the goal. So what you can see here is where are people dropping out or coming into your funnel. And this shows how effective your sales process is. And if you find out one page, oh, there's like a huge drop off. Like for example, 42% of people who go to the sign up page, they just drop off and they don't want to sign up. You want, if you want to do something to increase that, the effectiveness of it, then you have to monitor that metric. Does it go from 42% or above? So as you can see here, where are people leaving this page? Where are they dropping out to? They're going out to the exit page. They're maybe refreshing. They're going to the user, uh, the, the home page. They're going to the dashboard. So you can find out where are people going to their behavior. So the amount of tracking is really, really specific. I've gone through most of it. Does any, anyone have any questions on what kind of questions you would like to know about your website? Any questions? Can, can you export all this data into Excel? Great question. Uh, yes, you can. And it's very simple because a lot of us have managers, bosses, they want to know that. And what you can do is you can simply export it here into PDF or if you want to churn out some data use XML. And what you can do is you can email it very simply to other people, subject, description, and how you want it. And if you are, you can even have it as a regular interval. So every week on Monday, your manager wants to have a report on your website. You can do that as well. Send each Monday. Very simple to do. Thank you for your question. Any other questions? Yes. Does it, does it work on Ajaxize uh, web page, meaning that one page has many functions and you don't have to go to the other pages? Yeah, so what, what they have is called uh, virtual page views. Now, I'm not the uh, techie, um, but that's, that's what I know. You can track different things. Like for example, for one of our clients, uh, Startup, they have um, this account, uh, making an account uh, kind of page, and it's uh, full of Ajax. And they want to know which components are people clicking on to make their account. So we can find out which tabs people are clicking from, which uh, where they're going to. Yeah. If you want more information, Vinny can tell you about that. But yes, you can. And as I said before, it's free. If you have your own website or if you're just starting a business, make sure you install this uh, on your web page. Now, uh, it, these days you have CMSs like WordPress and all these kind of things. So you don't need to install it on every single web page. Um, you can just input it into your, your dashboard. And it's very easy, like when you upload new pages, you don't have to copy and paste each of your um, code on Google Analytics. One more question? Am I on time? Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Uh, I'm sure there's, there's, this software can go into very detail and there's a lot of interesting ways like advanced segmentation and a lot of cool technologies that you can do. But essentially, um, a lot of questions that you may want to know about your users, the more that you know about it, the more powerful you, the more better you'll be able to adapt to them and market your message. So thank you very much for inviting me.